When we started the exercise, we looked at the existing portfolio of buildings. Um, and SASA were actually using, we're occupying 17 buildings at the time. Um, what we've done obviously is reduce the, the vast number of leases and the different buildings down to one. Um, by doing that and by designing the building in a bespoke way, we've been able to reduce the footprint across Johannesburg commercial office space by as much as 40%. Yeah, there's a mix of spaces. I mean, we don't think of it as an open plan building. We see it as a mixed building. At the end of the day, what we've tried to do is allow different spaces that suit different activities. Um, so obviously one needs the right amount of circulation space, but at the same time, the office spa space itself does really lend itself to um, concentrated work in, in the cellular spaces um, where there's more privacy or confidentiality that's required, as well as more collaborative spaces as well. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to look to make sure that those spaces are well utilized and we can repurpose them if needs be. But I think when you do put thousands of people into one office space, it's important not to design it in such a way that people feel overcrowded um, and distracted. And I think we're trying to strike the balance really at, um, between those two uh, aspects.